clean that thing lately? Jimmy! Hey. Good to see you. Look who decided to show up. Good to see a friendly face. Yeah, no kidding. But hey, uh, what, you finally made it through med school. Yeah, I uh, finally made it here. <laughs> Well, I don't know if finally is the right word I would use around here, pal. But anyway, when did you ship out? Uh, about three weeks ago. Dang. Welcome to paradise. Let me show you around. Hey, guys. This is my pal, Robert Glover from back in uh, Winchester. But everybody calls him Jimmy. Hey. I'm Jones. Hey, Jimmy. And that's uh, Foster over there. And this is hey, Fredericks and Out Like a Light. <laughs> hey, uh, let me show you where you're going to be going. All right, Doc, that one's gonna be yours over there. But uh, don't get too comfortable. We'll be moving out in a couple days. Where are we going? Berlin, I hope. Hopefully that'll be our last combat jump. Yeah, let the Red Devils lay a fire up Hitler's rear. Hey, Doc, this sorry son of a gun here is Miller. Good to meet you. You too, Doc. It'd be good to have you out there watching our back. Am I the only medic? Uh, for now. Uh, I think they were supposed to send another one out with you, but I guess they were short on something. Hey, moving out tonight. Who's that guy? Oh, that's uh, Doc Glover. He just joined us. Who's that? That was Weber. He doesn't take too kindly to the newcomers, I guess. What's that sound? Uh, that's a V2. It, uh, they fired across the channel and took a big bomb. much except this is right where we're supposed to be and there's nothing here Thomas hey I want you and Miller to go forward scout ahead a little bit see if you can find F company
Go, go, go! What are you doing, Doc? You've been shot in the head! He's still alive! Well, he won't be in a minute, you stupid Nick! You good, Jimmy? Yeah. Good lord, is he even shot in the head? Yeah. Yeah, it went under his right eye, came out of his left ear. Jeez, how's he still alive? I don't know. See if we can get a jeep to take him back. Day, huh? No kidding. Who are you writing to? Sophia? Yep. Did you, um, did you see her before you left? Yeah. How was she? She's doing alright, I think. I know she's working with that, right? Yeah. Yeah, she told me. She said that, uh, uh, she said that the, uh, the silence at home was too deafening, so, um, and all the noise of the factory helps keep her mind off of things. It's an interesting point of view, I guess. <laughs> well, it is nice to know that, um, you know, she's got something to do with all the uniforms that we wear and the, the socks and even the drawers. I guess. <laughs> Not your drawers. How's Thomas after getting shot in the face? He's gonna make it. Taking him home right now. Jeez. Yeah, that goes without saying. Gosh, can't even imagine. What's up with Weber? Notice he didn't shoot a shot out in the ridge today. Not a one. Mm -hmm. I think he's just really tired as of late. Just needs a break. 
Don't we all? Hey, he's fine. Don't even worry about it. And uh, keep in mind, you know, we're in like really cold conditions and he um, takes a spoonful of it and blows on it before he puts it in his mouth. Hey boys, we got some good news and bad news, which you guys want to hear first. Mm, give us the bad. All right, so the bad is, is the vision heard about our last maneuver. We took out that German OP and machine gun nest. They want us to go pull off the combat patrol. Oh, wow. come on. Good news is, though, once we get that done, we should be able to be heading back to camp's zone within a week, and that should be it. Hey! That's good news. Sweet. Yeah! <laughs> Where's camp's zone? Uh, that's where they put us after the invasion of Holland. It's a, it's a couple of miles away from Reims, France. You guys can bet once we get back to Paris, I'll be spending all my money on hooch and French broads. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you get ready to move. We'll be heading out in five. Roger that. Sure you're good to go? I'm all right. Never been better. Okay. Hey, uh, if you want to uh, talk to me about it or anything, you know, I'm going to listen. Might do you some good to get it off your chest. You might. Okay. All right, second squad, let's go! Right. I got point. Okay. All right. Private Weber has point. Dr. Colin, keep your spacing. Cease fire! Is anyone hit? I'm good. We're good. Uh. Let's go. Did we get them all? I don't think so. I think one got away. Yeah, I bet we got them all running back to Berlin by now. <laughs> Ugh! <sighs> 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 
good. Yeah, good. Like motor. Okay. Come on. Keep motor. Right. 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 Dirty crowd didn't send a chance. Oh yeah? Says the guy who didn't fire a shot. Hey, I didn't see you fire a single shot either. Well, I'm the medic. What's your freaking excuse? Hey, no! Hey, whoever, stop! Hey, get off of me! me! Get off of me! No, we're not gonna get into this right now. Doc, just leave him be for now. Let me show this stupid mech what I think of his lip. No, get Stop off of me! me. Cut the crap! Doc, get over here. Go. 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 So you're gonna be fine. Just stay calm. We're gonna get you. Get you out of here. My hand, Weber. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Jones. Don't worry about it. You're gonna be all right. Don't let him look. Weber. Yeah, buddy. Where? My watch. What? Give me watch. What? Where's my watch? <laughs> in there, buddy. Make sure he's not hitting anywhere else. Hey Jones, buddy, I got your one. We've got to get out of here. Krauts will try to draw us out in the open and then shell us again. What do we do with them? 
nothing we can do for them right now. Our guys will come back and pick them up later. Doc, you really gotta go, buddy. Come on, Jimmy. I think this is the way that we came this morning. So, where are we? I don't know. Um, I thought this was the right way, but I don't... I don't know. I thought I recognized it, but I don't think this is it. Yeah. Hey. Doc. Take this. But I'm, I'm not... Doc! Just take it. So what are we supposed to do then? I don't know. Well, shouldn't we find a place to hunger down for a little bit? Keep us safe? Yes, that would be nice. But it would also be nice if we could hunker down in our own foxholes and not out here in the middle of a bunch of krauts or God knows what. Yeah, but it's getting dark. We'd be better doing that than trying to find our way back and getting lost. All right, let's get off the road then. Let's hunker down, as you say. Weber, you get first watch, and then me, and then Jimmy. Hey. Hey. If you have to, use that thing. I will. Please do. I don't want to die out here tonight. I said I will, all right? Jeez. Wish you'd stayed behind now. I always said I should have joined the Navy. You know, this is the first time where you've ever said that, that I've actually agreed with you. What do you mean? It's a joke. You know, because the Navy does all the navigational stuff. I guess. Well, it's not funny anymore. Thanks, Jimmy, you ruined the moment. Oh, come on. Hey, Doc. 
If your name is Robert, why does everyone call you Jimmy? Is your middle name James or something? No, when we were kids, Monty, him and I, we grew up in the same town together, and uh, he always called me Jimmy, and it just stuck. Well, I remember thinking when I was uh, when I was five years old or something that you just looked like a Jimmy. I, I don't know why. You know, you know when you can just look at someone and um, they look like they should be a different name or, or, or any particular name. I don't think he looks like a Jimmy at all. See, I don't think so either, but it just stuck. <laughs> well, maybe he looks different now, but back then, I like, I'm telling you, he looked like a Jimmy. <sighs> I think you looked like a Jimmy. So they're setting up the MG um, on the on the crossroads up ahead. There's only two of them that I could see. Okay. It was probably that MG crew that came by here a little bit ago. Yeah, it could be. So what do we do? Well, as far as I can tell, if we have German MG crews coming through here, we may very well be behind German lines. Well, that's no good. You still got your compass? Nope. Where is it? That is in a field in the Netherlands somewhere, my friend. Well, that's not going to do us much good. Nope. Not now. We could try going back the same way we came. Well, in case you forgot, somebody saw a crowd MG crew heading down that way. It's the best idea we got. Well, it's a stupid idea. Well, maybe it's not. I mean... What do you mean? So you've got two Germans up there with an MG, and there's three of us. You know what's going to happen is they're going to wait for the next GIs to come down that road and they're going to ambush them. Now, if we are behind the lines, we may very well be able to sneak up on them from behind and they won't even expect it. We could take out that crew. I think we should try. All right. Keep your intervals. Noise discipline. Let's go.
Scheiße! So jammed! Give me a clip, I'm out! Take it. What was that about? Why wouldn't you take that shot? You know why. Don't give me that crap! Do you really think that that is more important than my life? If we weren't in the situation that we are right now, I would take you off the line myself. You're gone. What was that? Whoever's got a problem. He, um... He won't take another life. Last week we, um... We were moving between two sections of the line and, um, we got a little lost. Sergeant Coleman sent us across the ridge to go help reinforce 2nd Platoon. While we were on the way there, I think we took some fire. When Weber got into a good spot, he took the shot. When he went up to go check it out, he found that he had shot a young woman. She couldn't have been any more than 16 or 17 years old. So from that day on, he swore to God he would never uh, shoot another person again. I try to cover for him, but when it gets into a situation where someone could die and he won't perform, it just means that he shouldn't be here. See, that's the thing, is you gotta be able to trust the guy who's fighting with you. You know, you gotta trust that he's gonna have your back no matter what happens, and... If that someone's not gonna shoot someone that's pointing a gun at you, then... That someone's just nothing but dead meat. Oh? We gotta get him off the line. We gotta get him back. I know, I realize that. Can you do anything for him right now? One place to sleep. Alright, let's try to get him to one then. Alright.
Where are they? I count three Germans. I don't know if there's more or not. We need to get out of here. No, you don't say. Yeah. Go, Doc, go. Okay, Bella. Jimmy, let's get you out of here. Yeah, gosh. Yeah. I knew you remembered how to pull the trigger.